Hi, welcome to Trading for Beginners. Here's a new handy tutorial. Moving Averages Moving averages are one of the most common technical indicators available to traders. This tool comes in many forms, simple, exponential, and weighted. Moving averages make it easier to spot trends on a chart, help find support and resistance lines, and are often used to identify trading triggers. What are moving averages? A moving average is a type of technical indicator. Smooth the data and create an average price over the selected time period. This means that it will filter out small and short price changes. The time period can vary from a variety of intervals, ranging from one minute, one day, one week, one month, and more. This type of indicator is very popular and used by active traders and long-term investors. It is called mobile because the appearance of new candles modifies the over types of moving averages. Simple moving average. Simple moving averages can be calculated over any time period. It is calculated by taking the closing prices of the desired time period and dividing it to get an average price. This is not something you will likely need to calculate by hand, many trading platforms and charting tools will have this built in. For long-term investors, 50 dash, 100 dash, and 200 day moving averages are common time frames to use. For short-term averages, the 5 dash, 10, and 20 day moving averages are usually used. You can set the period in the settings. Exponential moving average. Exponential moving averages are the most commonly used, and are calculated by taking the closing prices of the desired time period, but giving more weight to recent prices than past prices. The advantage of this is that it reacts faster to price changes. Exponential moving averages can easily be found in your trading or charting platform. Moving average strategy. How and when to open a position. Example of opening a long position. Purchase. In the figure, the price graph tends upwards, further away from the exponential moving average. The price then reverses, moving down towards the indicator line and touches it, or falls slightly below it. If the following candle fails to close below the line and the price breaks above the indicator, this can be considered an entry signal. In this example the chart moves up, then reverses and touches the indicator, bouncing in the same direction. The moment of the bounce could indicate a possible entry for a call operation. An example also for the put condition. Sale. You can use moving averages when analyzing a stock to highlight its price performance. If the price is above the moving average, it means the stock is trading higher over the selected period, on average. If the price is below the moving average, it means the stock is trading lower over the selected period, on average. This can help confirm uptrends or downtrends. Some moving averages can also act as support or resistance lines. For example, the 50-100- or 200-day averages could act as support or resistance lines. Some people combine moving averages and use other indicators to create their own trading signal that fits their strategy. An example of this is adding a short-term average and a long-term average. If the short-term moving average crosses the long-term moving average, you could interpret this as a buy signal for an uptrend. This is known as a gold cross. Disadvantages of moving averages. One disadvantage of moving averages is that they are based entirely on historical data, nothing provides a reading of the future. Just because the moving average is trending up doesn't mean the stock will continue in that direction.